As soon as I met him and his wife, um, they were just, they were both just so kind and willing to help in any way that they could. And um, that continued um, throughout their volunteer time with us here. And uh, whether it was, you know, taking uh, on a, an additional shift in the cat department if they had the time, or if he could help us with a, you know, cleanup day or a maintenance job that we had here, he was always very generous with his time and always willing to help and to see him as frequently as we did here at the shelter was um, was wonderful and it was it was really showed his dedication as a volunteer to the community we're all very saddened by the by the loss and just really really in shock we just couldn't believe it um, he it, it's going to be quite a loss for us um, in addition to the many other people that i know um, will be affected you know by Joe's death, and I just think that um, it's it really goes to show how many people he, he, he touched with his life and, and the work that he did um, in the community. Joe Zerber and I were both uh, class of 1985 here at Slazy and uh, we're both members of big Irish Catholic, or I'm a member of a big Irish Catholic family, he's a member of a big Polish Catholic family. So in Wilmington, when you have lots of family members, uncles, aunts, um, families cross paths. Um, we weren't particularly close academically. We didn't share many classes together. But um, he was a star on a football team. He was, uh, I think he made second team All-State in senior year. And I was a good tennis player and a good swimmer. Um, so athletes tend to know each other as we cross paths. And uh, I just had nothing but the most respect for the guy because as much of a, of, a, of a star athlete as he was, he was a friend to everyone. He was a, a regular guy. He was a guy's guy, as you would say. Um, just and, and you had a sense he was very true and genuine about everything he did. And a big part of Slazianum is our brotherhood, our tradition of, of connected nature to not only the guys that are in the classes with you, but to everybody who's walked through the doors. And um, it, I, I know it's meaningful to them. But the, my students, I have, let's say I have 100 students, they know me as a, as a person that's able-bodied and, and active and has a family. And I say, guys, Joe was somebody just like that, only I'd like to say a lot better because he, his, everything about what he did, his job every day, was helping other people.